In this lesson we're going to work on turning fractions and mixed numbers into decimal numbers. So the, really the strategy comes down to looking at the denominator of the fraction or the fraction part and uh, letting that dictate where the decimal number should end. So I have 7 tenths here and first I notice there's no whole part so I'm going to put a zero point since there's no whole part and then we'll look at this denominator so it's a 10 so that means I want the number to end in the tenths place which is just one to the right of the decimal so this 7 just goes in that one slot to the right of the decimal so we'd say that is 0 0.7 now I've shown a few times putting a zero in front of the decimal point um, as a good habit and so just to kind of explain why that's important to do is suppose that you're uh, working on a problem maybe it's on a test or something like that and I see this on your paper I see that Alright, so I look at that and I might wonder, okay, is that the number 7 and your pencil just kind of scraped across the paper there, or did you intend for that to be a decimal point? Well, even if your decimal point's really small or really light, if you have a zero out in front here, then it's clear to me, oh yes, this is supposed to be a decimal because there's no reason to ever put a zero in f on the left of a whole number. So I would know, oh yeah, you know what, that is supposed to be a decimal point. So um, that's a big reason to always put a zero to the left of the decimal point if you don't have a whole part. Okay, so let me rewrite this without that, um, without that line under the 7, because it kind of looks like a funky 1 there. So 0 0.7 is our answer there. All right, now moving over here, we do have a whole part, so I'm going to say 5 point, and then I'm going to look at that bottom number. It's a 100, so I understand that I want this to end in the hundredths place. Okay, and since there are two digits in 17 and two places to use, this becomes pretty easy. This becomes 5.17. Now here's another example where we don't have a whole part to our uh, to our number, so I'm going to put zero point, and now we look here. This is 1,000, so I want my number to end in the thousandths place, so three spaces over from the decimal point. But my numerator here only has two digits, so that means I want to put those two digits as far to the right as I can, so the 9 ends in the thousandths place, and of course whenever we have this empty space here we need to put another 0. Finally we have 58 and 5 millionths, so we have our 58 to the left of the decimal point, and now we've got to count over quite a bit. Tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths, hundred thousandths, millionths. Okay, so that means I want my 5 all the way over here and then a whole bunch of zeros between it and my decimal point.